Hey, Under the Hood Radio Show fans. I'm Russ Evans, your host, along with Chris Carter and Shannon Nordstrom. I want to talk to you a little bit about GM turbo failures. So these 1.4 liter GM turbos, well, a lot of them have failed in different things. On up to the 2020 model Equinox, the Chevy Cruze, uh, anything that uses that little turbo four-cylinder engine. So here's what happens in a lot of these. This is one we just tore down on an Equinox. This is the impeller from the exhaust side of the turbo. So the exhaust gases blow through this, spin it super fast, which in turn turns the impeller that you see down there with those veins. And that allows air being drawn in through the air filter to be compressed and blown back into the intake manifold to give you that boost. So if you've got a check engine light on and no boost and your vehicle's just not going anymore, well, what may have happened is this GM defect. You see how threads look really nice on the end of this shaft? Well, those threads went through and connected to a nut that was there on the end of that impeller. This went through from here. So what happened is that nut just fell off. Whatever you want to call it, it fell off. It should not have fallen off. And this impeller started flopping around and bits of metal came off of this and ended up going into the exhaust, which that part alone is really not hurting anything, but now this turbo is junk. So we're going to replace it. Uh, that's the only thing you can do to fix this really is just replace it. There's a lot of turbos on the market. You can get a Dorman Products complete uh, new turbo, which is a great option. There are other options available out there as well. Uh, there are used turbos. This one here is a used turbo that was, uh, I think, about 350 bucks. Had 30 miles on it. Uh, that's a pretty good option right there, folks, because a GM turbo is like 1150. So. That's a great option, plus it had, this one we got had a year warranty on it. And it came complete with the sensors, the wastegate, everything. You'll get the same thing if you went with the Dorman products, but it's, uh, it's a little tricky here to, to get installed. Now, I wouldn't say it's awful, but it is a little tricky. At home, you're probably gonna be swearing and beating your knuckles up, but it sits right here on the engine. There's your intake right there your um, the darker colored piece is your exhaust manifold and it's all got to be pried and fit in there just right but i know a lot of you have asked what causes the failure in these what is the turbo even where where is it located well it's right there on your exhaust manifold and intake manifold where they interconnect and the failure is that shaft that runs through there. In most cases, it just comes apart. And if it can't spin, you know, here's here's one that's together. You can see down in there. That one's together. Nice, clean, complete. There's the intake side with a nut on there. That's the way they should look. But when they come apart, you know, this is probably a, a two thousand dollar repair if you take it to a dealership. But if you find an independent shop you trust and they can hook you up with a used part or a Dorman products part, that's the only way we'd go with these. It's going to save you a lot of money. So, all right, everybody, take care. And uh, please check out our, our other videos, our full show. Just at least check one out and see what you think about it. And visit us at underthehoodshow.com. We're on YouTube here with lots of other little videos and our full episodes of Under the Hood, heard across America on 240 radio stations. Take care, everybody.